a friend of a friend uh, collects Tonka toys and he had this particular one where he's missing the seat he gave me a seat from another car just to look at but you can see it's this one is not aged and that one is aged so he wanted to know if I could make a replacement hi it's Chris and I thought I'd go through the process I used to uh, scan and design the replacement seat for this Jeep. I have a RevoPoint POP2 3D scanner. They now have a POP3, but it's really good for scanning things and it comes with a bunch of accessories like a turntable and calibration and things like that. So I used some Asa Blue to just take some of the gloss off to make it scan easier. The spray is self-cleaning. It automatically disappears after a period of time. I'm using the RevoPoint RevScan 5 software to do the scanning. And I'm going to scan the part in two different orientations. So the first thing is it's going around and it will rotate 360 degrees and try to see all the sides of the part. That white ring is to help it have some other structure so that it can easily... Um, lock in for the alignments. Then you have to fuse the points. So this is the first model and then you need to go in and I want to remove the uh, parts that are not of interest. So now we have the scan from one, one viewpoint, and we'll do another one. I've sped up the movie here, but we're going to go through the same part. We're going to scan in 360 degrees, and then we're going to process it to get the uh, fused points. We'll go through and edit out the points that we don't want. And then we'll have another two models. Now we're going to take the two models and merge them together into one. That's our new model. It's not totally complete, but for our purposes, it's okay. Just clean it up a little bit and then turn it into a mesh and export it so I can load it into some other software. Now that I have the scan, I'm going to load it in. It's not complete, but it's okay because we're just going to sketch it out. I'm going to just uh, have it identify all the major planes and things so that I can set up a coordinate system here. And now I'm going to sketch out the outline here so I can extrude it. I'm going to sketch just the end caps so I can make the two ends solid. Sketch out the other side, the other end cap, extrude it. That's what we have so far. Then I've got to try to build these feet up that uh, connect the model to the car.
Do the other feet here too. And I've got to cut it so the feet hook out here. so far and then I want to put some fillets on the edges because it's smooth and the model smooth because it was injection molded around the bottoms too here and I forgot to put the fillets up at the top here so that's what we have. So now we've got our model here and I can export it to the printer. So now I've loaded the model into the slicer for the printer that I have. I have a Prusa XL and I've oriented it so that it's, you know, you can select these faces, but I've oriented it so that the um, we don't get a lot of support on the good faces, so it's nice and clean. We're going to need to put support everywhere to hold these upper surfaces. So I'll go ahead and um, slice that now. And so you can see the the green is all the support material and the orange is the, what's being printed. And it says it's going to take uh, 2 hours and 22 minutes to print. Now the support material has to be removed. The seat came out pretty nice. Looks a lot like the original. And I'll put links to the models and the different color filament that I used in the video description. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.